All right, so these are the batteries I was using. Just to give you an idea how long they last, this is a 2.5. So with one battery, I edge this. My camera's kind of going to crap, so don't mind it. One battery, I edged all this. Now, if it wasn't overgrown, I think I would have got way farther, but it was overgrown. Not by much, but it was overgrown enough where I had to go over it multiple times. I got weed whacked the front, and then the battery died. I got the back, the second battery, and I weed whacked halfway around the back to that corner, to that tree you could see back there, and the battery died. So I already used two batteries for one house. Two batteries of 2.5. So honestly, I'm really gonna get rid of these 2.5 batteries because they're no good. All right, so now the next battery we're gonna go for is the 5.0. Now, my next house, I'll find out if these 5.0s are worth it. But right now, I'm gonna use the 5.0 and I'm pretty confident this 5.0 is gonna finish the house. But the next house I do, I'm gonna start with 5.0 and see how far 5.0 gets me. <coughs> so the 2.5 or whatever it is, that is a definitely no-go for business. And I wanted to just make sure it was a no-go before I start talking about it. Um, I even used the edger on the lowest setting and it cut through this with no problem. I mean, it cut through it with no problem. So, right now, I'm gonna show you what I got done with the weed whacker. I've done all this. I edged this back here. Now, I've been probably weed whacking a little extra, like way out than more than what I usually do. But I've done all this, and it died over here. So, like I said, I believe a 5 amp, I hope I can get like 5 houses out of one battery, because if not, we got problems. Alright, didn't mean to kick it, I just give it that triple D love. Alright, I'm out of here. My uh, camera died on me, so I can't record. So the line I use is actually made out here and it's called uh, the, the Copperhead. Now I've been a big fan. It's $12 for this little roll. Um, it's also 0 0.095. I've been a very big fan of uh, Ugly Line for a long time. I've tried hundreds of different lines. Ugly Line has always been the best line. So what we do is for these Eagle feed speeders is you need 
exactly 15 feet, okay? Here's a sweet idea of measuring out 15 feet. The width of your trailer, I have 17 by 18. So I'll go almost to the end of your trailer, bam, you roughly have 15 feet. Or do it halfway, you know? You can do it halfway. And I'll show you how I can do it halfway too. So. Okay, now that you got your 15 feet, I keep a cutter in here, but I don't know where my cutter is at. So we're just gonna use the first thing I, that comes to mind. Okay, bam. The joy of being organized, you know where everything's at. Okay, so we got our string, all right? Kind of twisted, a little bit of everything. So here's the sweet part. You take the string, feed it through the head. We don't gotta line up nothing, we don't gotta look for nothing, we don't gotta hunt for nothing, you just put it in and push it through. Now I have an end on there so I might be getting jammed. Yeah, see I got that little curve right there. I should have cut it nicer. Let me cut it really nice first. There we go. Now it's a nice little cut. Clean cut. Okay, so we just find the head. I can't put my thumb in the back so it don't move or pivot. I feel electricity. I go on to spin. I should take probably take the battery off when you do this. I don't know. And then see it's through. And then run it all the way through. Do it even. Alright. Okay, now it's all the way through. Got the dirt going in my nose. And then you just really hit the button, let it do its work. Too short, hold on. Let's get it out. Let me hit it. Georgia bugs. All right, we're good to go. Oh, right off film. Anyway, so once it's in, it's in. And that's how easy it is. So let's get back to work. And uh, what did we learn out of this today? Two amp batteries, 2.5, whatever they are, they're crap. Let's go.